Happy Monday, everyone. This is Kristen Maka with Futurity First Insurance Group. Welcome to another episode of Connectoma. Once again, I have Andra Williams with me with Openson Home Healthcare. Thanks Hello. for joining us again, Andra. So today I just wanted to dive a little bit more into how Obenson works and the services that they can provide people. Okay. They don't have like the medical, like the nursing level services, but they do either a unskilled or a CNA level. Okay. So they can, um, you know, do the, like unskilled would be like, you know, picking up around the house, there's a little like cooking, running errands, uh, just simple companionship. Some, some people just... Like kind of like maid service yeah, type kind of, things. Okay. Exactly. Kind of like that. And then mm -hmm. like some people just simply need someone to talk to sometimes. They're just at home by themselves seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And sometimes they just need people to come in and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, things. Other people need a bit more expensive care and so they'll have people, you know, there six, eight hours a day or, you know, sometimes if, it, if it's a little more dire, um, they can have people 24 hours and they'll just rotate people, you know, for those 24 okay. hours a day um, mm -hmm. and have, you know, full service. So it really ranges based upon the need. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And also I know that, you know, some people are very hesitant about having somebody come into their home. So what is Obenson's procedure for hiring people? Um, well, they do the whole background check. So they'll make sure that everybody's, that nobody has any type of you know, like felonies or like um, abuse charges or anything like that or death or anything like that to make sure that, you know, there's safe people to go in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they go through trainings and things to make sure that, you know, they're doing things properly, handling things, especially if like the CNAs have to do lifting and okay. stuff like that. The owner, she's, she's really good about going out to see the clients themselves and meeting them personally to really get a, a feel for, you know, how they are, who will work best for them. So she can okay. like, probably pair it a better person because not everybody's a good match for everybody. Exactly. You know, different personalities might click a little bit and different personalities might kind of clash. So she tries mm -hmm. to find someone who's going to fit. So if, let's say, for instance, if, you know, you were trying to find someone to help you out with some stuff, you know, you like to talk a lot. So she's going to mm -hmm. find someone who's going to be talking to, you know. <laughs> now, if you're the person who likes to sit in your corner, read your books and stuff like that, but just needs some work done, she, you know, find someone you're just going to go in, do the work, like, hey, everything good, you know, so okay. nice. it's matching up people properly. Who normally is the type of people who reaches out to Obenson? Is it the families, like the caregiver within the family that's trying to take care of, you know, the potential client, or is it the client reaching out, you know, the person who's saying, you know, hey, I'm starting to not you know, be able to do things around the house a little bit more. Who's normally the one that's reaching out? Most of the time, it's, it's the family reaching out. Okay. Some people are kind of, you know, ashamed of the fact that they need help or, you know, you'll ask them like, you know, 10 questions, kind of try to gauge the severity of the help that they need and they'll, mm -hmm. you know, try to kind of sugarcoat it a little bit like, oh, I can do this or, you know, I can still do this. But they can only do it to a degree, but they're just not going to, you know, they're going to say, I can still do it. It's like, can you really do it all? And so that's another thing, really being able to talk to the people. And that's another thing the owner's really good at. You just simply ask someone, can you still pick things up? Yeah, I'm fine. Can you still get things? Can you still reach things? Yeah, I can still reach things. And then you get into the house uh, exactly. and, you know, and they can pick something up that's yeah. maybe a, a pound, but not... You know, to be able to move anything around the house legitimately. Exactly. Yeah. It's another thing, too, because a lot of times to qualify for getting help through some of the services that are in the area, you have to go through questionnaires. And then they answer the questions with that, you know, kind of sugarcoat. Yeah. And they don't qualify for the help that they need because they sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. And so it's really kind of, you know, getting that extra bit of help, getting that extra bit of understanding of how this is really works that you know um, the owner Pauline gives and that's what uh, to me makes her services very specific and very special compared to a lot of other companies. Okay so that's that's what makes her more unique. Yeah. You know there's a little bit more of hands-on touch making sure that the client's gonna be able to get the care and maybe able to get it the care taken care of under the insurance exactly. rather than private pay. Yep. Perfect. About the, the insurances, about the different types of insurance that Obenson does accept and, mm -hmm. and work with. A lot of the people use, I mean, it can either be uh, self-pay, um, like private pay for some people, other people use their insurance to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So people have, you know, like the whole, have Medicare with like the Medicaid writers and stuff, they can use their Medicaid writers to pay, cover services. Mm -hmm. So there's no out of pocket there or, you know, little out of pocket, which a lot of people don't realize. And some of the bigger companies don't accept the Medic Medicare, Medicaid um, riders. So that's another selling point for, you know, the smaller company oh, that nice. they will take it. 
Like, does like a long term care insurance policy pay, pay for, for so it stuff be, like this? I would think so, but once again, that's probably a question for her. Okay. More all specifically, because right. yeah, she knows the ins and outs. She's done all the study and the research of what yeah, of yeah. what she accepts and what she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> This has been a very good look into Obenson Home Health Care. Just wanted to, once again, make sure that people are aware. If you do have a family member that you feel that is struggling with stuff within the home, you know, reach out to Obenson Home Health Care or services like them and be sure not to sugarcoat what's happening in the home. They see so many different things you know nothing's going to surprise them or you know they're they're not going to judge anyone for what's happening so what i will do is i will link in the description below uh, the link to obenson home Healthcare. so once again andre thank you for joining me all right thank and you for having me appreciate it no problem it's been fun. <laughs> all right everyone take care bye